Hello. Welcome to the final day of the MLS season. It's all come down to this, boys. I don't think you could have scripted this. Final day of the season, New York City and Orlando sitting on 52 points in the wildcard spot, both desperately needing a win to steal third place from Philly. But as the MLS is a bit messed up with the fixtures, we play first at 2 o'clock, then Maxi plays at 4 o'clock, and then Philly play at half 7. So this is a big bonus video for you. We have both games and then the final results, and then we'll let you know what everybody stands. So you're going to find out as we find out. I think it's amazing <laughs> that we could end up um, both being in the that coveted third spot, both being chucked out at it, and then at the end of the day seeing both of us in the, the wild card place because of Philly. Yeah. So with my game first, I'm going to quickly go through my results for you guys. So I, since the last video when we drew 2-2 with Houston, we had a 3-3 draw with New York, which we went down just before half-time, 2-0, and then we managed to pull it out second half, went 3-2 up, and then give away a silly goal to draw 3-3. And then we've just changed the formation to the one I changed to at half-time, and we had a resounding 3-0 win against LA. Um, as for Maxwell with his last fixtures, I'll let him run through them now. Mm -hmm. No problem. The last time he joined us was the Montreal Impact game. Since then, there's been a lot happening. Yeah, we had a trip to Chicago where we drew 2 2, Billy McKay scoring both goals for us. We then took on New York Red Bulls, beating them 2 0. The BWP, P, Bradley, Bradley Phillips, and Mario Gomez scoring. What was other friendly against the Charleston Battery? That was a good 3 0 win. And as you saw with the bonus video in midweek, we had the US Cup final and the win over LA Galaxy. Since then, Disappointing defeats to the Columbus Crew and Sporting Kansas City. Both games lost 1-0. Then we took on Sporting Kansas City again in the last game. Pretty poor 1-1. Billy McKay getting our goal. And we've got DC United next. So I have two congratulations. One for Maxi for being picked as manager for the MLS All-Stars team. Congrats, bud. Thank you very much. And the first silverware between us as well goes to Maxi. <laughs> so I'm, I'm behind with this. <laughs> Oh, right, so we go with my game first. Um, we are ready to go. I've picked, no, I haven't picked the team. I need to change the one defender because of injury. Put Vallejo back in the team, and I need to take Saunders off and put our third choice goalkeeper in. Um, I think we're pretty much not, I'm not going to change it because of the team played so well last time out. I only changed the one injured player. I think we're, yep, yeah, okay, we're ready to go. Come on, boys. Good luck. Don't let me down now. <laughs> All of this work just for, to be let down final day. Um, we're in a really weird situation where even a loss will mean I have to play off again, another game against someone. So you will get another video from me no matter what. But I really want to win this game so we stand the best chance of maybe nicking that third place spot. Let's go with good luck. Uh, let's change the thing to exploit the flanks. Okay. And let's go. So here we go. So hopefully we get a bit of good ball retention um, and not too much wasted play. Uh, I'm playing counter because we are away from home. And Ebar pulls it back Lampard with the cross. Rodriguez, yes, 1-0, get in. Defensive midfielder getting up there with a the goal. Puts right us away. ahead in the ninth minute. Right away, pushes you right in the third place. Puts the pressure on everyone else. Mm -hmm. There's all, all we can do today boys is just win and give us the best chances going through it comes down to goals scored believe it or not as well between me and Maxwell that's why he's sitting in fifth it's not goal difference and I've scored two more goals than him so if we was both to win and fully lose Maxi would have to score three, uh, two more goals than whatever my result is <laughs> if you're going to win win 1-0 please yeah oh great defending there so good corner good clearance Gonzalez get out I do. As you may have noticed from my tactic, pe uh, people like I've moved David Villa out to the left because he just wasn't scoring enough goals, and I put Santiago Gonzalez up top, and he's done nothing but repay the faith. He scored something like four in three recently. Um, we're slowly pushing the time through. They're getting back into this, having a lot of possession, so we probably need to go to a controlling tactic. I think if we can get another goal here, would be great. Mane, beat your man, cross it. Villa, he's offside. I think he's offside. Is he offside? No. Yes! 2-0. <laughs> Talking about the man not scoring. Oh, he just managed to... Stay. He's timed his run perfect there. Back post tapping. Absolutely fantastic. That means at half-time we may be able to switch to a controlling tactic and just try and hold on to the ball. So as long as we don't do anything silly, we'll be all good. So Davi Villa, Lopez, Gonzalez. Villa again. Plays the ball wide. Sinovic, Lopez, Gonzalez. Yes! 3-0. Oh, it seems the change to the four 
uh, I think it's a, you'd call it a four-three-three, wouldn't you? Really, but it's like a four-five-one, four-three-three flexible. GG, mate. GG. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't one in five now. No. Um, Davia, offside. A scramble through to half time. I'm just happy to be three 0 up. Give us a little bit of a breathing space. So I really didn't want a tight game. I wanted to be comfortable. Um, so let's go with assertive. And I'm no, don't. Uh, very happy. We don't want to piss them off. So control instructions. Let's go to retain possession. Work the ball into the box. And let's change that. Okay. So no changes at half time because everybody's got okay fitness. If someone starts getting a little bit long, I'm going to take them off with a view for the next game. Um, as long as we can. No. Oh, we just missed. I thought that was going to be a goal from their kickoff then. Aniba, Rodriguez, Lampard. We're just holding on to the ball here. Rekic, Lopez gets tackled. That's not a good place to lose the ball. Tracking back, chasing back. Good tackle. Oh, no. Odin's missed by an absolute. Wow. I don't even want to know what he's missed by there. That's that's so far wide. Ah, oh, Sidalinas. That's one more back before the 50 minutes. That's not good. Let's give the team a talking to. Let's tell them uh, assertively to concentrate. Let's try and get hold of this ball because 38% possession is horrific considering we're trying to play possession football second half. Um, but Lopez is the only one really looking tired. Him and Lampard in the middle. So 60 minutes, let's take, uh, do we go with the youth? Yeah, we're gonna go, I'm going to bring Mendoza on. For, oh, hold on, left back's injured. Um, Karim can play left back and we'll put Bobby Burling. No, we'll play Armando in centre back. There we go. Um, I'm going to leave the centre mids for another 10 minutes and see how we get on. So I'm about to push one of our centre backs out to the left back, but he can play left sided, so that obviously shouldn't be a problem. 70th minute, let's bring on Mendoza in midfield for uh, Frank because he hasn't played that well. Give him a rest ready for the next game, not that he needs to with his natural fitness of 20. <laughs> so slowly wind down the clock, drop to defensive, go to waste time. It might be a bit too soon, but oh, Selenas, good save keeper. Oh no, it stopped. Thank you, FM Processing. <laughs> it looked like the keeper had saved it. The, the 2D stopped as the keeper got to it. No, that's a shocking dive. All right. We need to, I need to give them a little bit of a, an aggressive fucking tighten up. We need to sort this out. May have gone defensive a little bit too soon. So, so we can... Higuain's not a midfielder. What's he doing back there? Oh, he's pushing up now. Okay. I don't like the fact that we're supposed to be like closing down. There we go. I was supposed to say closing down a lot and um, tackling and everything like that, and it just wasn't doing anything. There's the ball wide, Via. Oh, that's a shocking cross from Via again. The amount of times he gives the ball away. Oh, no. <sighs> Beaten by one straight through ball. Boom, straight through the middle. Who is is that the Armando that I brought on? No, it's Vallejo. Wow. Good record, lad. Well played. Until it wasn't GG at 3 0, didn't I? Via across the ball. Valero, has he scored? He's offside. Fuck! <laughs> this loud goal in the 89th minute, which probably would, would have won it for us and then would have given us that 1 0, which would have been Maxi's minimum. Yes, boys. Fucking draw. A 3 3 draw is not an ideal result. Probably my fault for going defensive, but. End of the day, it wasn't a loss, so it keeps the team in standing. But three and a half time, I'm very disappointed to lose that. 49th minute, 80th minute, and 85th minute. I went defensive from 77th, so that's probably my fault there. You live and learn, boys. You live and learn. Houston win 4-2 against Dallas, so we stay in the wild card slot. So there's no hope for us. Maxi plays next. Good luck, bud. <laughs> I don't mean to be that guy, but that was probably the best result that could have happened for us. And our chances of um, hopefully pushing into that third spot because I was okay. going to score five goals. Trip to DC United, pressure's on. We've beat them before, 1 0. The team was already picked Caleb, Morgan, Park, Barnes, Franklin, Akugo, Koval, Kaka, Holt, Mackay, and Charlie Davis. No, I don't change anything. We'll go with. 
Pillar boys get stuck in, I think, a bit more, but just the usual short passing, attacking football in their face, high pressure football. And let's hope the guys can give us the result that we want. You ready to click continue, buddy? Oh, sorry, yeah. No there problem, you go. thank you, Sean. So we're 5 to 4 on, they're 74. They're bottom of the table, but as I say, we've had two games against the bottom team in the other conference, and it went tits up. And we'll just quickly put the replays for the goals. 2D Classic, we're all good there. And we'll set the boys assertively. I'm expecting you to win. Because I'm not, you know, they should be winning these kind of games. Probably because I've said that they won't, but we'll, we'll be calm, we'll be collective, we'll see everybody be positive. I'm praying for you to win this game so that Philly maybe lose or draw and drop down into that play and I'll play off them. Yeah, and so that would be the best of both worlds, so you'd be in the second, third playoff game against them, and I'd play Toronto at the top. If I get through if I get through the wild card slot, that is. I'd rather avoid you in the wild card, I'm not going to lie. Here's Mackay, Jason Holt, Morgan, oh, he's got to finish that. The left back's got to finish that. But so far, all the possession, five shots to nil, and it's goalless. Kaka, Park, and they clear it again. It seems this team can do everything bar score. <laughs> all the strikers you've got. <laughs> that, is, that is absolutely incredible. Good job with them to score five goals. 27 minutes, still nothing happening. Bill McKay is going to be booked for, for diving. Yep, so he's going to come off at half time. We'll get the big target man on, Big Mattox. Here's Sean Franklin. Billy McKay, what are you going to do? Was it to Kaka? Was it to Iloa? Ajoa, how do you pronounce it? Good tackle, Koval. Ashton Morgan. Ricky Kaka. Charlie Davis. Is he offside? <sighs> yeah. Still in my life in this game, so many offside decisions. Let's see, 35 minutes, still close, 7 shots to 1. All the pressure from us, Mackay, Charlie Davis, great save by Fernandez. Mikaka with a chance, Jeff Park, ah, way by Martin. Looks like they're going to get clear, so it's going to be another goalless game. So just the last ever since we won the cup, we've done nothing but been disappointing. In fact, there's a chance, Franklin. Oh my God, that sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> Absolute travesty that he hits the post. So the boys are half time aggressive. I'm not happy. Everybody's motivated. Billy McKay's off. In fact, we're going to risk it. We're going to make two changes. We're going to see Bradley Light Phillips come on as well. Mattox is a target man, and it's Mackay and Davis that are off. Can somebody please just put it in the back of the net? Is Zuretti their centre back, or is that their midfielder? I think it's a midfielder. Um, last change already, Jason Holt. It's James Vincent. Change him for an AP to a trick. Give a team talk. Passionate. You need, you, no, you can make a difference. You need to make a, the difference here. As we've got 25 minutes to try and win this, we'll go overloads. After we go attack for a bit. Maybe about 80 minutes, that's when we'll go overloads. Still not pushing for an attack here. Not need to go overload. Quick team talk to say the boys calm down, keep everybody fine. Can we get this goal? Come on, boys! No, don't do this to me. Don't have to have play this wild card match. Oh, fuck! Please count them. Please count them. Kaka, nah, I've lost that again. Estrada, Farfan, and Guchin. Martin, it's not just that, we're going to get into this game. And Great save ball. by your keeper there to keep you in it. Oh, Franklin picks up the ball. Oh, shocking pass. 
It's, it's one thing getting into the wild card, but we're getting this in terrible form. Mm. We need a last minute goal for any hope. No, it's going to be all over. We finish in fifth place. Chris, buddy, I'll I'll see you in the. <laughs> no so unfortunately, can't. guys, we don't even need to know what the Philly result is because we haven't picked up enough points to overtake them. So we'll just have a look at the results anyway, just to show you. But you're going to get a very interesting next video from us, which is going mm -hmm. to be me facing off against Maxi for a place in the playoffs. So. So it was a Philly ended up winning anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Um, Toronto winning means they won it, so it was Toronto winning the conference, followed by Philly, New York in third place, us in fourth and fifth. Chris defeated me by goals scored of all things, since we had the same amount of wins, draws and defeats, and had a bit of goal difference. But hey, yeah, you had the strikers, mate. Well, whatever happens, guys, me and Maxwell have done an exceptional job with these teams because my team was predicted 14th, like we said in episode one. Maxi was predicted bottom of every single team, so he's absolutely excelled himself with this team. Mm -hmm. um, to pick up a cup as well is ridiculous, so fair play to Maxi. Um, whatever happens in the next game is going to happen. That'll be the next video for you guys. I hope you're looking forward to it because I'm pretty sure <laughs> we're dreading it. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, next video. Just one Let's last thing happens. you add, Chris, is um, the Supporter Shield, the, the whole full league table. Oh, I haven't looked at that. Let me get that up. Um, we finished stages. Six and seven. Oh, I don't know. Go to schedule. There's, no, not schedule. God damn it. Competitions. There we go. Oh, So there we go. So in the Supporter Shield, you've got Toronto top, Salt Lake, Philadelphia, New York, Portland, and then you have me and Maxi in sixth and seventh, which is the wild card spot in our side. Mm -hmm. and it's mad to think that Portland finished second in their division on 55 points and they finished fifth in the overall league <laughs> but There's if we'd have picked up some results. points in them last couple of games the same as you look at how tight the top of the league is 58 points 57 57 mm -hmm. 56 55 and then a little bit of a drop to us too mm -hmm. amazing thing is that Real Salt Lake can actually still win it apparently they've still got a game in hand oh they haven't played yet they play in a minute at the last game of the thingy uh, shall we, schedule. Shall we play that? So press continue and let's see what happens. Uh, vote for rookie of the year quickly. Um, but uh, but oh, my player's in there, Mendoza, but he didn't get very high in us. <laughs> um, I'm going to vote for that for you, Chalad, whatever his name is. Uh, him. Well, it's two games tomorrow, sorry. Is it two games? Two, aye, aye, two games today, three o'clock, and a late kickoff on the 25th, which is today. So we'll quickly keep hitting continue, skip through these, Jerome, I don't care as I talk to you. I just want to make sure you get the final table and then it'll give us the uh, wildcard slot will be officially announced as soon as the last mm -hmm. game is played, which Colorado is, wins, yeah. and Real Salt Lake need a win against, oh, it's the top, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they draw one all, there you go. Are they top overall now with that point? We shall confirm that in a second, they are... No, because on goals scored, 72 goals for Toronto. And that makes champions. champions. Oh, so we have to play this wild card slot. So next video will be the wild card game between me and Maxwell. Hope you're looking forward to it, guys. We will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Be sure, Bye, to, sh uh, be sure to like, subscribe, follow both channels and all that goodness. Um, share the video as much as you can. And hopefully the next video will be well it's going to be either way one of us is going to have a good video mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. so see you in the next one guys bye bye, -bye.